so hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all simply click on start lab and this lab is recently updated so here is the updated solution for it first of all start the lab and open the console in cognito window now if you are completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now let's complete this lab together simply open the console in cognito window now here if it asks for user and pass refer to the lab instruction now here simply click on i agree and agree and continue if you get this kind of pop-up now from the navigation menu you can see vertex ci is present over here you have to simply click on this vertex ci and then we have to just open the chart basically we have to just open the vertex ci studio and just complete all these tasks stay tuned do like the video and subscribe the channel too you can see here if you want you can enable all the recommended apis or you can simply move to the vertex ci studio now the studio is completely updated so you may face some kind of issue now here basically just follow as i am doing so that you get full score on this lab without any issue now simply here you have to just open a new chat now from here we have to update the model and basically prompt name first of all remove this unwanted pop-up come to the task number one Copy the name from here, update the name in the untitled prompt, change the model to flash 2.5 which ever is mentioned on the lab instruction. Now here you can see a section on number 4, system instruction, copy it, paste over here. After that copy this and paste on the prompt area. This is the prompt area, now click on this send button. Now simply wait for this to get completed. Once it is done, we have to just save the prompt. Now here you have to just click on save and for the region you can see here on number 9th here it's your central one in your case if it shows different you have to just select from this drop down and select and just save it. Now this will take at least 5 to 7 minutes so wait for it and many of you are asking about the skill badges you can check the description box I have shared 70 plus skill badges total and 37 pre-assessment skill badges you can check it and complete it now wait for this to get completed. After that you can see here code option is here you have to simply click on the code option and then just click on deploy deploy to cloud run and just click on I understand and create an app okay like this you have to simply create an app what I have did I clicked on the code option then clicked on the deploy option and then simply just try to deploy the app you can repeat the video if you are facing issue now here what happens for the first attempt we may get status as failed like this and in that case you have to wait for at least 30 to 40 seconds maybe up to 1 minutes also and then you have to simply update the app if you directly try to update the app you may also face some kind of issue like it will again show this error so simply wait for at least a minute and then move to the next step Simply come over here, click on this deploy, manage app, then again click on update app, confirm. Now if you have waited at least for a minute and then you can just try it and then you can see that the app status is just updating. It will take some time to update and then after that we have to just open the app and run the prompt over here. Now finally here you can see the app is successfully ready now. Now you can see open option is enabled. You have to just click on the open option and then we have to just enter the prompt for the chart. So just click on it. Now here simply you have to paste the prompt from the lab instruction. Come over here. From the 17th number, you have to just copy this prompt and paste on the chatbot section. And just click on the send button. Now once you get the output, 
you have to just come to the lab instruction and simply check the score for task number one now come to the task number two come over here you can close this window just close it like this click on new chart this drop down and click on chart option now for the prompt name copy the name carefully from here update the name and if the model is different just select from the lab instruction now paste the system instruction and here you can see here come over here and we have to add an example so just copy this input value click on this plus icon examples and here just below to the input just paste over here similarly update the output also both these things are done add examples now simply just update the system instruction and here carefully update here you can see write the value paste over here now copy the prompt from here paste on this prompt section all these things are correct now simply you have to just send this prompt now once this is completed now again you have to open a new chart you can just click on wait for it to get saved once it is saved click on here open the chart click on basically wait a second okay now we have to just do it now in the prompt box we have to just paste it okay you can check the score if you are able to get the score you can move to the task number three but if you are not able to get the score do one thing just copy the prompt name update the entitled name now copy the prompt paste over here and just send it now once it is done you have to just come to task number three now again click on this down arrow and just click on the chart option click on continue and now here okay here we have to just update the name first of all in the untitled section go and update the name now make sure the model settings is correct just paste it if it is mentioning on the lab instruction you can update the model from the drop down update the prompt also and here you can see this is the model if it changes you have to select from this only because sometimes the lab gets updated and they have to just do it like this now just click on the send button now once this is done you have to just open the compare section so here you can see you have to just simply click on the three dots and open the compare section how you have to do just come over here wait a second click on these three dots compare scroll down a bit copy the system instruction update it to second prompt basically second option you have to update now this basically this one you have to enter in the prompt area and just send it now the output is generated now we have to run another prompt so just come over here copy the new system instruction update over here come over here and copy this prompt option update it basically prompt chat and just send it now here we are here we have to just select this prompt again and paste over here okay you have to simply copy it and you have to paste over here now what happens you are unable to see the send option okay if you try you are unable to see the send option in such cases what you need to do you have to just paste over here and simply hit enter hit the enter button and you'll be able to run the prompt i share this because many of you may face this kind of issue and i know this is a very simple issue so you have to just try it and check the score now come for the task number four come over here new chart 
again we have to just test the image analysis so update the prompt update the name make sure the basically the what model is same now just import the put the image carefully from the bucket you have to just select it and simply here you have to just copy this prompt over here just click on it paste over here and after that okay just click on this send option just send it again and just check the score now after that we have to generate a meet here basically image generation come over here new video click on continue now here we have to generate the image okay so here how you have to generate the image you can see you can just directly check the score first of all and if you are doing this as a part of any arcade game just click on enable check my progress uh, the video is present in the description box of this video now here is the image okay you can click on yes now make sure all the settings are correct copy the text prompt make sure all things are correct okay number of image is also four i think so now just check it and basically if anything changes you have to update it accordingly as per the lab instruction like if it asks for number of images three you can see this you can decrease it now just come over here and check the score and that's how we completed the lab guys do like the video and subscribe the channel if you have any queries you can let me in the comment section and for skill badges check the description